Hello everyone, it's Kruhe and welcome to the 17th episode of Doki Doki The Track Club Plus. Um, it's a second part of Q&A with Monica. Let's come back to her and answer to more questions. Um, I wonder if she'll be, um, I don't know, saying anything about the fact that we left her last time. But I just had to. I can't um, record all the videos at once because how long ca can one person speak straightforward? Alright. What just happened? Just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop. Now that is just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Kruhe, I don't know if you would have any if you would have any idea. And if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. Now, where was I? Yeah, that's the question. So she's thinking. Oh, okay. This is amazing. This is amazing. She's not skipping a single question because I was wondering if she's gonna ask ab us about Yandere again or not. Alright. Hey, have you ever heard of the term Yandere? It's a personality type that means someone is so obsessed with you that they'll do absolutely anything to be with you, usually to a point of craziness. They might stalk you to make sure you don't spend time with anyone else. They might even hurt your your friends to get... Okay, <laughs> wait. They might even hurt you or your friends to get their way. But anyway, this game happens to have someone who can basically be described as Yandere. Yeah, it's Yuri. By now, it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about. That would be... Yuri. But isn't Monica a bit of Yandere as well? Like, Yuri's connected to Yandere uh, at first, but right now, as she described the definition of uh, being Yandere, uh, that uh, stalk you, stalk you, or yeah, stalk you to make sure you don't spend time with anyone else. She deleted her friends just to be able to talk to us. So isn't it horrible? Anyways, it's so loud. She really got insanely possess possessive of you once she started to open up a little. She even told me I should kill myself. I couldn't even believe she said that. I just had to leave that, that at that point. But thinking about it now, it was a little ironic. Haha. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people are actually into Yandere type, you know. I guess they really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed with them. People are weird. I don't judge though. Also, I might be a little obsessed with you, but I'm far from crazy. It's kind of the opposite, actually. I turned out to be the only normal girl in this game. It's not like I could ever actually kill a person. Just the thought of it makes me shiver. But come on, everyone's killed people in games before. Does that make you a psychopath? Of course not. But if you do happen to be into the Yandere type, I can try acting a little more creepy for you, haha. <laughs> then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go, or anyone for me to get jealous over. Is this a yonder girl's dream? I'd ask Yuri if I could. Um, so I think he can't really, uh, really um, talk about yonder people in real life because I haven't met any of that and I think it's really were rare in our real world. However, uh, what Monica saying is absolutely false. Uh, if you like, think about it. She told us that she. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that so I can talk to Monica. Uh, I'm I'm usually looking on my keyboard instead of Monica. Anyways. 
she told us that she had uh, put Sayori and Yuri and I think even Natsuki into those bad things uh, like mm, if we go back in time to act one then we can see that Monica uh, was talking to Sayori and like last days of act one pretty much like she was talking to her and uh, we knew it was happening but we couldn't hear the conversation because it was usually like after lessons or on the corridor and I think it could have been something uh, causing uh, her depression that she killed herself at last and Monica was not even surprised or uh, I don't know or sad because of it like both Yuri and Natsuki oh I don't think they no they didn't know about it but Monica was uh, talking to us in a weird way that after that happened we knew that she for sure knew that it had happened and it's pretty weird for me but I think Monica, despite not having uh, this yonder uh, expression on the face as Yuri did in Act 2, especially in the last scene, I think she's the most yonder uh, person in this whole thing. Like, I know she's explaining that uh, they are fictional characters, but we know Monica is also a programmed character by Don Salvado. So, that's what I wanted to say about it. Anyways, let's go to the next question. Let me check if I'm recording because that would be a disaster. Okay, Kruhe, would you ever introduce your friends to me? I don't know why. They get really excited when I think about you wanting to show off our relationship like that. Maybe it's because I really want to be someone who makes you proud. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself if you told me it made you proud of me. I hope it's the same the other way around too. Mm. I'm sorry Monica but um, I never really had any relationship with a fictional character. I think that's good and uh, I know that I said yes to her but she gave me no option okay. Mm. And after all, I'm showing her to my friends because you guys, you're watching me because you're mm, enjoying watching my videos. And thus, it means you like me in a way, or at least maybe my videos, but I don't think there's any person who likes watching my videos and doesn't like me at all, okay? Gosh, I used to be so ignorant about certain things. When I was in middle school, I thought that taking medication was an easy way out or something like that. Like anyone could just solve their mental problems with enough willpower. I guess if you don't suffer from a mental illness, it's not possible to know what's I what it's really like. Are there some disorders that are over diagnosed? diagnosed? Probably. I never really looked into it though, but it doesn't change the fact that a lot of them go undi- undi- <laughs> oh my god. I know this word, I just never pronounced it. Undiagnosed too, you know. But medication aside, people even look down on seeing a mental health professional. Like, sorry that I want to learn more, more about my own mind, right? Everyone has all kinds of struggles and stresses, and professionals de dedicate their lives to helping with those. If you think it could help you become a better person, don't be shy to consider something like that. We're on a never-ending journey to improve ourselves, you know? Well, I say that, but they think you're pretty perfect already. Thanks. Um, about medication, um... 
I would like to say something about it, uh, but I have never tried it. Uh, like, it might be a good way to uh, think about certain things, uh, but for me, it's like if I want to uh, think about something, uh, I just lie on my bed, uh, not also, of course, not falling asleep. So it's usually like I don't know, lying. Uh, my stomach because I never fall asleep in that way and then with hands in my face I'm just thinking about it I'm trying to find the best solution to a problem or um, I'm analyzing all the possibilities uh, that can happen in a certain situation and for me that's the best way to deal with problems or difficult situations um, yeah sometimes I think back to middle school I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then it almost hurts to think about I wonder if when I'm in college I'll feel that way about high school I like the way I am now so it's pretty hard for me to imagine it happening but I also know that I'll probably change a lot as time goes on. We just need to enjoy the present and not think about the past. And that's really easy to do with you here. Haha. <laughs> mm, thanks again, Monica, I guess. Mm. But anyways. Um, also about Monica that is in high school. But, like, Don Salvador... Uh, told us that all the girls here are over 18 um, of course not to have any problems with law uh, because yeah it's easy to explain why uh, adult people do some crazy stuff and talk about these things rather than immature maybe not immature but just people over like students or under I mean underaged um, and what Monica said about like feeling that what we used to do in our previous um, seven of no, maybe not seven but part of education uh, can be weird for us later on mm, it might be true like I Right now, I am in... Uh, I don't know how to call it. Because... I don't know if it's either middle or high school. Because, like, in Poland, after what I'm in right now, we already go to college. Uh, like, to university. So I've... But it's not really high school. Because before that, I was in primary school. So it's like middle high school I don't know something like that but it's four years and I'm on a year second of it and when I'm thinking of what I did in primary school when it is weird but I'm not judging myself uh, from the past because that was a completely different person uh, I was unexperienced I know what mistakes I've made uh, and I cannot do anything about it I'm just happy that it happened like everything that happened both good and bad things because now I know what to do and what not to do and that makes my life in let's say high school um, easier You know what's kind of creepy? You. You are. Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in, my, in the back of my head. Imagine if after someone you knew died, you, kn you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just wasn't thorough enough. But I'm too afraid to delete anything else, because I might really break things. Like if I mess with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. Yeah, I think she's 
again mm, giving us tips that we should deal with her but let's let's listen to her topics very interesting and that would ruin everything wouldn't it i don't know what it's like on your on your end but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs i believe in you kruhe mm. i wonder what would happen if we uh, if we brought Natsuki, Yuri and Sayori's files back, I think I think Monica would not notice at all or would say something and delete them just after. I mean I cannot really do that because I mean I can, I could download files from somewhere else or just get them from regular DDLC because I have them both, normal DDLC and DDLC+. Um, but yeah, doesn't matter. I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where actually doing it isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. Probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly, but we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Mm, she will never be real. The unlock. You know what? I'm gonna quickly check what it's about. She never be real. Listen to a lot of what Monica has to say. This is um, the achievement. Okay. Uh, anyways, what I wanted to say about the habits thing is that um, it's true what she's saying like it's difficult to form something especially uh, that we randomly uh, go into some um, social media every day like it works for me that uh, I want to do something uh, because I've been thinking about doing it and I want to do it but I get on my PC then oh let's let's open the browser let's check if there are any notifications on YouTube maybe someone uh, left a comment or something and then in recommendations I uh, get something like a short video it can be two three to four minutes long but it's for example some uh, some short funny video and like Mm, let's watch it. It might actually be interesting like Just a little introduction into The fact that I'm gonna be working on my PC for the next couple of uh, minutes or hours and then I'm watching again uh, I mean another video another Then oh, let's maybe play some because I forget about what I was about to do from the very beginning It is really difficult nowadays to form something new um, and about the second part, um, no, it's 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 a difficult subject. I can't really uh, add anything to the second part of her. Um, you know, of her problem that she mentioned. Hey, are you having a bad day or anything like that? Why are you asking that question? Sometimes I get frustrated that a normal day can be ruined even by really small things. Like if you accidentally say something in a conversation that someone doesn't like. Or if you start thinking about how awful of a person you used to be 5 years ago. Or if you feel worthless for putting off important work and failing to get simple tasks done. Or when you think about all the different people who probably hate you or think you're off-putting. 
and understand those days. Just remember that the sun will shine again tomorrow. Those kinds of things are as easy to forget and ignore as they are to remember. And besides, I don't care how many people might hate you or find you off-putting. I think you're wonderful and I will always love you. I hope, if nothing else, that knowing that helps that knowing that helps you feel just a tiny bit better about yourself. If you're having a bad day, you can always come to me and I'll talk to you for as long as you need. Oh, okay, I, f I think it's a part where I have to talk about my day, apparently. Well, it's Friday, so it's... Um, so it, like, if if the day is the last day of the week where I have to uh, go to school, then it's immediately good. Like, it's at the very start, it gets some additional points for being Friday. Or, you know, sometimes we have... Maybe... Maybe not sometimes, rarely you have like Friday off and then Thursday becomes that day. But uh, usually it's Friday and overall it was a good day. Um, I think I got a bit tired because on the P lesson we had to play basketball. Um, apparently we don't have basketball often and it's a really tiring spot uh, to play. And one of my least favorite ones, like volleyball or uh, football, I mean soccer, uh, are way better. And I wanted to finish this day with something good, but then we got basketball and um, that day wasn't as good as it uh, was supposed to be. But it doesn't really matter, it was just one lesson. Overall, uh, overall it went smooth and I'm happy to be uh, at home right now uh, recording this video for you guys how long is it by the way? ok 23 minutes this pretty random but I always thought spicy food was kind of funny why funny? like didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoys that act actually enjoys spicy things. It's almost like we're making fun of the plants, using their defense mechanisms to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like imagine a monster that devours you whole because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life or being digested. Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. <laughs> It just came into my head. I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute, I could eat you up. That actually sounds wholesome. Haha, <laughs> I'm joking. Gosh, I'm amusing myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Mm, weird, I mean. It sounds like weed. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, um... I do like spicy food and I've never thought about it in that way. But when Monica explained it, um, wait, well, I'm not sure if it's true because I haven't uh, read about it, but I guess Don Salvador made the dialogue uh, with some, I mean, with some knowledge about it. So it is true and when I think about it, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, that uh, we're using some like self-defense of plants to you know make our lives better like it's using someone's uh, disability or something or maybe like someone tries to uh, do something to you know Mm, to make their lives better, so I don't know, I ca can't really put an, an, a great analogy, but it's just, I don't know, it is weird, as Monica explained, and that's all I have to say about it. Okay, I think the last question right now about Twitter. Did you know I'm on Twitter? 
my username is lilmonix3 mm, I don't know I can check that out later and I'll I don't know I can even put it on the video if it's something interesting I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me hmm <coughs> that's interesting like it either had to be Don Salvador or like wait it couldn't have been uh, a random person because this act was man was uh, you know released on the same day as the DLC was mm. oh I got an idea maybe he added this topic later on like I don't know a week after the DLC was released in 2017 or maybe some days later but anyways I guess someone was kind enough to make an account for me I picked the username though I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world or oh, maybe it's like a psychological thing he could have put it here and then someone named themselves as uh, Lil Monix 3 so that it's like her account you know we will never know or maybe there is an answer but I don't know if, if I'm able to make a research about it or maybe on it research on it about it I don't know I love sharing my thoughts and chatting with the world the real world yeah we know that so make sure you follow me okay it will mean a lot to me is she actually advertising on my video with how much you mean to me and all it would really make me feel loved okay Monica if you say so then that's how it is and with that being the last topic for today's video and I guess it's I don't know it's the second part of Q&A with Monica I don't know I honestly don't know uh, how long it will be it may be one or no I think at least two more parts but actually it's really really interesting so make sure to watch next episodes next one is going to uh, to be about the book we are reading with Yuri so portrait of Markov uh, oh I forgot we can't save the game she's not going anywhere so let's just exit the DLC I don't think we oh we unlocked something I didn't expect to that's great because we were not going to listen to Monica for so long anymore okay that's great that's great artwork drawn by Satchley to Satchley to celebrate Valentine's Day 2018 in Act 3 listen to at least 15 of Monica's monologues <laughs> monologues these are actually dialogues because I'm talking to her these are like yeah I, like if you're playing the DLC by yourself then I think it's quite boring uh, because I didn't do it myself uh, because like it's you listening to Monica some interesting thoughts and then I think 20 to 30 seconds of waiting for the next one if there were if there weren't these breaks between the topics then it would be more interesting but for me it's great because it gives me some time to talk about these topics uh, so maybe not monologues but dialogues or my monologues but Monica given topics for them uh, I wonder if there are more like does anything happen if we uh, talk about all the topics I don't know I don't think so I don't think so but we'll see about it because we're actually going to do it 
I'm always doing game for 100%. Uh, so... So, that would be all for today. If you're still here, then that's really good, but I don't think so. But if you are, leave a comment that you're still here. It would mean a lot to me. So thank you all for watching. See you maybe tomorrow because it's weekend. So um, I'll probably be able to record tomorrow. Take care as always and goodbye. See you.